I was trapping with my bitch We just went and hit a lick Had to find another trick Cause the old one made me sick Got a nigga out the three And he working with them bricks I like diamonds on my pussy And he love the way it drip Drip so sick This is Tim I'm live right now with my hell of a life right now. All right, so Tia, can you let us know when you first started taking uh, music serious? Um, I started taking music seriously like a year ago. Um, I basically started like recording more than just freestyling on my Instagram live. <laughs> All right, so before that, it was just like playing around and then what you felt like, oh, I got some talent, or somebody told you, hey, you should take this serious? Um, well, I started being more into listening to more beats. So that's when I started wanting to actually, like, you know, write stuff down and, you know, actually record and really hear myself instead of just, you know, just letting everybody tell me on live, oh, you know, you know, you rap, you sound good. So that, that really, like, motivated me to really get into it. All right, well, I was able to uh, check out your, your SoundCloud and you got uh, two songs that stand out as far as Lit Dick and um, Push It Freestyle. Mm -hmm. um, can you talk about what the reaction has been from fans and followers? Um, Lit Dick has been really crazy. Like most of my fans and followers, like in Pontchartrain, different parts of Louisiana, have really been like DMing me about like crazy, like how they DJs playing a song in the clubs and oh, it's my Push It Freestyle. Like the whole city is like so supportive with that one like I love it like I'm just so excited to you know introduce more music to my city and other cities that are in Louisiana. Alright, so yeah, you got a good uh, reception and reaction to your, to these two singles that's out right now. And uh, you got a lot of followers and everything on social media. Um, can you talk a little bit about, you know, just being an influencer in the city and uh, also can you describe your rapping style? Do you consider yourself uh, a bounce artist or something like that? Um, I don't consider myself as a bounce artist. Um, basically, like, our city is, like, the way we was raised, we brought up all for bounce music. So, like, when you from down here, you don't have no other reason but the bounce. So, like, my music, I just put into, like, my real life facts of, like, how I am in a club, how I am on a regular day basis, you know, how I am with my friends, with the gang, you know, stuff like that. So, like... Um, I just like to make music that make people move around. You don't have to really be a bounce. You don't have to always be about shaking. It could just be about just a club jam. You just in a club feeling yourself. You know what I'm saying? Just on some trap stuff. Most of the time, I rap about trap. <laughs> right. So, all right. So being um, from New Orleans, this being a musically rich uh, city, can you speak um, on how that influences your music? Like what you say besides the bounce aspect? Yeah, I mean, it influences my music because it makes it more interesting. Like, you could listen to this song in a club and outside the club. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just the type of vibe New Orleans gives. Like, our, like, our style is just so jazzy. You know, like, so anything that I, you know, work with a producer on is going to be jazzy. Like, people are going to feel it. They're going to want to move, you know, regardless of the fact. But I, I don't really consider, you know, really doing bounce too much. But right. I like it. All right, so speaking on style, um, you know, in a, the rap industry is mostly male dominated. And uh, can you speak on, uh, as far as being a female MC, uh, do you feel like you have to live up to uh, certain other images that's in the game, like maybe a Nicki Minaj or like the old Lil' Kim or something like that, or, or recently like the City Girls type of vibe? Um, no, I consider myself as just like being myself. Um, like, I was raised to, like, always be yourself. People just feel you better than you trying to be somebody else. You know, you can create your own wave and your own style. So, that's basically, like, what I'm doing. Like, I love Nicki. I love Lil' Kim. I love Cardi. I love all of them. Like, you know, I look up to them because their music is good. Like, I love listening to it. But being yourself is just better off for your own good. Well, just a, a quick question about... Um, I've heard some people in New Orleans, or I've seen like on Twitter, but some people say that the city girls, they they um, music feels like they kind of still in the vibe of New Orleans. Do you think you see any similarities, or like what do, what do you think on that subject? I mean, yeah, I see a lot of similarities with the city girls in New Orleans because most of our music 
um, they do use for they, you know, on the album. Like most of our music is used on the album. So like, yeah, I do see a lot of the stealing things going on, but um, you know, like we just authentic. Like, you know, we official. This New Orleans, like you can't, if you're not raised from here, you can't make it up. Like it's the way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it is what it is. Like, they all right, well, still on the subject of being a female rapper, um, can you speak on, do you feel like there's any, like, challenges or things that you face um, in the rap industry because you're a woman, like, specifically? Um, yeah, I mean, I feel like, yeah, they have a lot of, like, challenges and stuff because a lot of women are doing rap, or rapping now. And, like, you know, a lot of women feel like, you know, they the best at doing what, you know, doing this music stuff. But I feel like, you know, I'm just in my own lane. So I'm not really trying to pay attention to what the next female artist is doing because I'm just wavy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't create this wave. This wave is authentic, period. Right, right, right. I understand that. And, um, so with that being said, uh, you got, of course, your own style. You got some hot tracks out on your SoundCloud and everything. Can you tell the people um, what they can expect from Tia Maro and like what's next for your career? Um, what's next for me? Um, I'm thinking about a tour. Like, um, I'm gonna go on tour, me and the gang. Um, we got a lot of music that's coming um, that I just haven't dropped, that's just recorded, that I'm ready to drop now, you know, that I'm more focused on my music now, so. Basically, I just want them to be looking forward to all of the hits. Like, we got to put the city on. Like, you know, we come from the bottom. And that's why I'm at with it right now. Just trying to pick my city up the real way. You know, like, nobody never really picked us up. A lot of people made it, but we still at the bottom. All right, when you speak on the gang, can you uh, tell us uh, who's, who's the gang? Um, I have... Um, a couple artists, um, my friends, they um, are in a real game, LLC, which is which is something that I established in 2010. So I have a lot of other female artists that I work with and I record with, which is my friends. And, you know, like I'm going to drop a real game album, you know, just basically on some old stuff, like, you know, mixed songs like Juvenile, Fifth Wall Weeby, Mia X. People like that, just to bring back our old music and stuff, like the New Orleans way, to come back from people who really from here. So we working on that too, and I'm working on the EP. So I'm just trying to basically just put our city back on the map like it used to be. All right, do you have a name for uh, for the new EP that you're working on? Um, no, I actually didn't come up with a name yet, but um, I know when I go on tour, it's gonna be Till My Root Trap and Rap Tour. So I'm gonna go all over Louisiana and then I'm gonna hit Memphis and Texas. So, cause I have a lot of support out there too. So I just love all the support and all the good ideas and all the feedback that I get from everybody. Like that just means so much to me. All right, all right. Well, that sounds good. I hope that uh, you'll be able to come back and holler at me when you get off a tour and talk about that experience. And of course, I'm gonna feature your uh, uh, article whenever you're ready to put out that EP. You know what I'm saying? So I thank I appreciate you for the love. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Definitely a uh, fan of your music. I appreciate you for coming sit down my have life TV. Can you tell the people um where they can follow you at and keep up with you? Um you guys can follow me on Instagram at Tia Monroe underscore. Um that's my only page that I have. I, I don't have a Twitter. Um I don't be on Facebook, but I'm not hard to find um Tia Monroe underscore. Make sure you guys Follow me on SoundCloud and be looking forward to my new music because it's never a dull moment. I appreciate you. Thank you, baby.